Hi, I'm Tracy Foreman with Aging Partners. Thanks for joining us for Dance for Life. Joining me today is Sue and Paula, and they're going to be getting their heart rates up with all of us. So get a comfortable chair, one that's solid, and you're going to be sitting most of the time in the middle of the chair until we go to standing. And make sure it doesn't have wheels on it, and don't do this from your recliner. We also have a paper plate today. I brought some props. So if you have a paper plate in your pantry, you can use a lightweight plate if you don't have any paper plates. And then we have a Dynaband, and those can be purchased at about any uh, fitness store or you can call Aging Partners and we have those available too. So let's get our plate put under our chair, come to the center of your chair, pull up through your spine, get your core ready to engage, knees wide, feet flat, and let's go ahead and get started. Ready? All right, let's start with a breath. Just get ourselves warmed up a little with a breath. Reach up, touch your fingers, and exhale as you come down. When I talk about doing those deep breaths, we inhale from the stomach and then move up through the diaphragm and into the chest, inhale. Exhale and lower down, nice and slow. Now we're going to exhale half, or inhale, excuse me, halfway up, and then we'll exhale into a twist and reach to the outside of the opposite knee. Rest your hand on the back of your chair, your arm. Push against that knee and move into a little deeper twist here. Two normal breaths right here. And then we'll open those arms up back to center. We'll come to the other side, place your hand on the outside of the opposite knee, press against that knee and move into a deeper twist here. Two normal breaths right here. Let's do a big inhale back to center and exhale down. Now we're gonna to start to reach forward. So you're rocking forward and just reaching that arm out. Easy movement. Keep your breath moving. You want to keep breathing throughout this entire routine. Don't hold your breath. Inhale forward. Feel the stretch from the shoulder, reaching out. Reach it forward. And now I'm going to have you reach down to the side. Reach down and let the weight of your arm and head pull you down and then come up. Stretching out those side muscles, working into our back a little bit here. Down and up and down and up. Let's do a wide reach with an inhale. On the exhale, come into a hug here and feel the stretch in the shoulders and arms. Let's inhale again. Now the other arm will come on top, come into that hug, nice squeeze here, and inhale one more time, we'll lower our arms down. Let's bring our left foot out in front of us. If you're mirroring, it's going to be your left foot. We're using our right foot here, sorry ladies. So <laughs> bringing your right foot out, place your hands on your bent knee and come forward, chin is up. We're gonna imagine we're, we're gonna touch our chin to our foot. And if you can do that, good for you. You're in great shape. So now lower your head slowly. And round up, come back up. Let's bring that foot back, extend the other leg out. Bring your hands on your bent knee, come forward. Reach it out there and then slowly lower your head down. You're going to feel that stretch deepen and round up. Let's bring our knees a little bit wider here and go into our torso circle. This is a nice warm up for the low back. When you come back, lean back slightly so you engage those abdominal muscles. Now let's switch direction, reach the crown of your head out there. So you're stretching into that low back. Now let's just keep our hands on our knees when we come up this time and we're going to drop an elbow down, feeling the opposite side stretching. Come up, 
other side. Come up, stretch, and up. One more time, stretch, and up. Let's bring our foot up and then we're gonna circle at the ankle. We'll take it the other way. Let's go ahead and place the, that foot down and we'll go to the other side. Raise up and circle. And then take it the other direction. Let's do one more big stretch. Inhale. And an exhale down. I'm gonna have you bring your heels under your knees, power up through your legs, come up. We're gonna to stand to the side of our chair. So that was a little warm up, and now we're gonna do some standing things. Step your toe forward, and then bring it back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward. You're gonna feel this on the standing leg into that ball and socket joint of the hip and back, bring them together. Other leg, forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward, back. Forward. Now let's do a knee lift in front. Let's lift, set it down, other side. Left, hold on to the chair if you need to. If you don't need to, if your balance is great, then let go. Left and down. Left and down. Left. Now we're gonna do something on each side of the chair. Lift up, swing out. Bring it in and down. We'll do that four times. Lift up, swing it out. Bring it in and down. Lift up, bring it out, swing it in, take it down, let's move to the other side of our chair. Here we go, lift up, lift up, swing it out, bring it in and down. Lift up, swing it out, bring it in and down. Two more, up, out, in, and down, and up, out, in. Now we're going to stay on this side. Let's touch it out. Touch out, and in. Stretch it out there. Out, and in. Stretch it out, and in. Stretch it out. Now we're going to take it back, back, together, back. Together, three, together, and four. Let's take it to the other side. Step to the other side of your chair. And here we go, we're gonna reach it out. And gotta get the beat, and in. Out, and in. Out, and in, and out. Let's take it back, back, together, reach it back, together, reach it back, together, reach it back. Now on this side of the chair, we're going to lift it up, lift it up, swing it out, lift it up, and down, up, out, up, and down. Okay, we're going to move to the other side of our chair. And we'll start on this side with that lift up and swing out. So get into position. How you feeling? Doing good. Good. All right. Getting good. <laughs> Getting warm. Up, out, up, and down. We're going to start a little bit slow, and then we'll pick up pace. Up and down. Let's go to heels. Lift those heels. Let's
start to get our arms into it. We're gonna warm up a little bit now, doing what's called a hammer curl. So imagine you're holding a hammer and bringing it down. Slow warm up. Let's take it to the side. Doing bicep curls at the side now. We'll change now with a push down to the side. Open hands. Spread those hands. Fingers open. Keep those heels lifting. Bring your hands in front. Now we're going to open and close those hands. Try to keep those heels moving. Let's take it down to the side. Push down and keep opening and closing those hands. If you have arthritic hands, this can actually help to give those fingers a little more flexibility. Let's go to a march now, march. Back to that hammer curl. Keep this going for just a little bit. Let's reach up and touch our shoulder. So just a little bit deeper bend in the arm. Now we're gonna punch forward. So there's your transition. We're just punching forward now, but keeping that pace going with your legs. Should feel your heartbeat getting up just a little bit here. Now we're gonna change what we're doing with our legs. Same side, punch. Keep your breath moving, it's important. Don't try to hold your breath. You wanna breathe through these exercises. Let's take it now to a push with the heel. Okay, now we're gonna transition to the next song. Let's step to the other side of our chair. Nice march. We're gonna take it to a tap out to the side now with a push. Tap out and push. We're pushing down slightly. Warming up now, yes. <laughs> Let's take it to a push forward with a toe tap. Turn your shoulder slightly into it. Should be feeling that heart rate raising just a little bit. Now march. Do something called tires and that's when you step out and in. So out and in. Keep that pace going. Hopefully you can feel your heart rate getting up there a little bit. Remember if it's too much for you, you need to slow it down. Now let's march and do a heel dig with a push. You feel that? Good job. Let's take it back to a march now.
Swing those arms. You want to keep your arms moving all the time if you can. Now let's do just a little brain work over and under. Working that brain here. And swing those arms. Bigger now. Let's tap now, raise up. I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. Let's punch up now with a little dip here. Keep your breath moving, important. Let's do a tap out with fist coming out. I'll move from my chair just a little bit here. Punch it out. Now we're gonna do a push back with our elbow and tapping back with our foot. Remember, if you have balance issues, hold on to your chair if you need to. Let's take it back now to a regular march. We're gonna do heel in front again. Let's do that hammer curl with opposite hand now. So we have to think about that just a second because that's brain work. Yeah, <laughs> it helps. And take it out to the side now. Still on opposite side with your arms. Punch it down. Keep the heel digs going. Keep it going. Let's take it to a march again. I'm gonna do a tap, forward, tap, tap. So we're pushing back slightly into that tricep muscle with a little bit of a hammer curl, forward. Let's take it back to tires, out and in. Out and in, out, in, and out, and in. Keep your feet moving. Because we're going to transition a little bit here. We're going to come in a little bit closer to our chair. Let's grab our paper plate. Hopefully you have a plate. Don't get one of those big, heavy ones. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Let's stand toward the back of our chair with our feet wide. Fan yourself. That's the best part, right, of using the plates. Fan yourself, working into our elbow and our wrist. I want you to do a little squat as you're doing this. Squat, bring it up. Squat, bring it up. Squat, bring it up. So this is brain work. You wouldn't think it would be, but it is. Other hand, fan. Up. Keep the squats going. Squat. Up. We don't want that heart rate to come down too quickly. Now let's take the plate in one hand and lunge it out. Bring it back. Out. So turn your feet slightly out. Out. Bring it in. 
take it out, bring it in. Reach it out and in, out and in. Reach it out. And in. Now we're going to take it from down to up and down to up. Little squat there. Down to up. Down. Up. Down. Down to up. Down to up. And down to up. Let's take it now in front. So take it in front and open. Knees soft here, open, and open. Now I want you to turn your head to the side. You're taking the plate to. This is balance, believe it or not. Our balance systems are our inner ear, eyes, and our feet. Last one, bring it up. We're gonna bring it down in front, up and down, up and down, up and down. Raise your plate up, up and down. Turn your plate as you come down and down. Raise up, keep your breath moving. Raise it up and down, raise up. Now this time when you raise up, we're gonna take it up and switch down. Take it up, switch hands, down, this is brain work. Up and down. Take it up and down. Bring it up and down. Bring it up and down. Bring it up, bring it back to center. Push in front and back. And push in front and back. Let's go ahead to a seated position now. Let's get our Dynabands. These are the stretchy bands that you can get most fitness places or uh, any of the stores that sell fitness equipment. We're gonna do some strength work here. So be sure you're breathing throughout this routine. You can use a dish towel if you have one of those. They're not as stretchy, of course, but bring your elbows down into your sides, placing the band between your thumb and your index finger. And we're gonna pull out, bringing those shoulder blades back and in. Be sure you're breathing, and in. Out, and in. Let's exhale as you push away through your nose, and inhale through your nose as you pull back in. And then let's take it now at a little bit of an angle, so keeping one arms solid here against your side. We're going to push away with the other and let it come back. Push away. If you don't feel like you're getting much resistance, shorten up your grip on that Dynaband. Push away and back. Push away and back. Let's bring it back on the other side. Push away and back. Push away and back, push away, and back one more time, push away, and back. Let's hold it up in front and grab up a little higher on the Dynaband, and we're gonna hold the band up with one hand, and with the other, we're gonna pull down and bring it up. Pull down, bring it up, pull down, bring it up. We'll do one more, pull down, and bring it up, let's flip it over. And on the other side, hold it up with one hand and pull down, bring it up. Pull down, bring it up. Down and up, and we'll do one more time. Take it down and up. Let's place our hands with the band on our knees and bring your knees in just a little bit, hold closer on the band and drop out. Bring it in. Just hold on to your knees and hold that band in place on your knees. Drop one out and in. Drop the other and bring it in. Drop it out, 
bring it in, out, and in, out, and in. Rolling your foot a little bit onto the side, out, and in, out. Now let's bring the band up to chest height. Push out and out, out and out. Push out and out, push out and out. Out, out, out and out. Let's do one big stretch, bring those shoulder blades back, inhale. Exhale in. Now bring it lower. Big stretch, inhale. Elbows are leading out. And exhale in. One more time on this, in this position. Inhale. And exhale. Let's hold it down on one leg and push it out. We'll do two times on each side. Push it out, hold it down on the other leg. Push it out, and push it out. Now rest on the leg, and we're just gonna push down and up. Push down and up. Push down and up. Push down, up. One more time on each side. And down. And up. Let's go ahead and set that band on the back or un of your chair or underneath, whichever works easiest for you. Bring your knees wide. Let's bring our hands over our knees and pull forward with a breath. Inhale, head comes back, shoulder blades back together. Now drop your head and push into your upper back like you're wearing a backpack and you're going to push everything back. Pull forward again. Inhale. Exhale, push back. One more time. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Let's just roll those shoulders back a little bit here. Feel good? Yes. Awesome. Good. Hopefully that got your heart rate up a little bit, got you stretched out a little bit. Let's roll those shoulders forward now. We're going to stretch our arm up above over our head with an inhale, exhale back, pat yourself on the back, inhale up, exhale down. Let's do it on the other side. You deserve a pat on the other side too. Inhale up, exhale down, pat yourself on the back, inhale up, and exhale down. Thank you for joining myself and Sue and Paula. We enjoyed spending some time with you. Have a great day. If you're interested in this program or any of the fitness programs that Aging Partners has available in the community, please contact our offices at area code 402-441-7575. Thank you.